I'm Andrew Byrne. I'm the laboratory director here at Proper Cannabis. Today we're going to go out and take a look at some of the concentrates and what we're making and just look at the processes. So why don't we go take a look? The main difference between our products, right, was solvent and solvent. With the solvent, we're using hydrocarbon to pull all of the cannabinoids into a solution that we can then pour off and remove those solvents. The solvent list, we're trying to basically create slurry, right? We're shaking trichome heads off of the plant material. We want to collect all of those. So they're not dissolving in to a solvent, right? We're using water and we're collecting all the trichome heads. So batter is our solvent product. Rosin is our solventless product. The main objective always is to collect as much of the terpene and THC content as we possibly can. Everything's starting with this fresh frozen material and we're gonna take that frozen weed, put it into two categories, right? We're gonna either do a solvent extraction or a solventless extraction. With rosin, we're gonna start with a giant machine filled with water and it's gonna be super cold. The objective is to shake every single one of those trichome heads off as we can. Collect it through our series of screens, remove the water, eventually freeze dry it, and then get this nice pressed, oozing, resinous material coming up. The end result there, I think is a little bit more of a floral product. You get more breadth of the plant. The solvent extraction is going to be for diamonds and batter. We're gonna start with our fresh frozen material in our extraction booth. All that weed is gonna get broken up so that we have this really nice surface area and we're gonna just completely saturate it with our solvents. Eventually, we're going to remove all that solvent. Long story short, you add some butane, you dissolve all your cannabinoids and terpenes into that solution, you remove your butane, and now you have some batter. This is some of our Moonbow batter. It's got a really nice, just velvety texture. It's got great aroma. It's a little piney and a little sweet, kind of like candy. Mostly I like to look for the bounce of the material itself. Uh, and it's a little mixed up right now, but if I can kind of hit it on the sides and get a little jiggle through it, that's really what I want to see in this product. It wants to pull away from itself, which is a great sign. Yeah, what more do you need? For growing diamonds, you know, it's, it's just like growing diamonds naturally. You need pressure, temperature, and time. We're gonna start with the same exact extracted oils as we do with the batter. The only difference is we're just gonna give it a lot more time to allow those crystals to just drop out of solution, crystallize, come these nice big rocks that we love. Eventually we'll melt those diamonds into a liquid and reintroduce the terpenes to them. We do that to preserve the integrity of the terpenes themselves. So that way when you have your pen, you, you know, you get that flavor of the plant. But also to control the viscosity of the product itself going into the pen, you know, so we, we decide how much terpene that we need to add back to that diamond material to get the consistency that we need. That's gonna smoke well, it's not gonna clog your pen. So that's a diamond pen. Our Sauce Plus pen, similar, except instead of using diamonds, we're starting with distillate material. It starts with all of our distillate that we're making in-house, and then we're gonna go ahead and use our terpenes that we derive from in-house from our extraction booth to give it that nice flavor. Strain-specific mix, you know, if we wanna make like a strawberry lemonade, something like that, we can kind of play around with our terpenes and, and just kind of really create whatever flavor that the, the weed has to offer. What makes our products great? One, the starting material that we have. We have an amazing team in the cultivation that works tirelessly to grow the best possible buds that we can. And the end result is we have products that reflect what cultivation has done. What really makes our products great are the people that are making the products. You know, they're super passionate, they care a lot about what they do, they're devoted, they love cannabis. They want to do a good job. They want to make sure that the product that they're putting out to the public represents that higher standard that we expect here at Proper.